My name is Ryan. I play drums for Ringworm, and this is my kit. We got a Tama Superstar Birch wrapped in a mirror chrome. 10, 12, 16 toms, 22 inch kicks. I got half of this kit in central Ohio, put it on layaway, and then a buddy of mine from Philadelphia had the second kick, and we were playing this hardcore fest in 2015. And I was like, hey, I'll give you a hundred bucks or so, whatever, for that second kick. And he was like, all right, there's a perfect match. It's birch, it could take a beating. It can withstand about any climate. That's, that's why I prefer the birch, because it, it just always sounds good. And I have Evan's hydraulic heads on the top. The hydraulic heads, it's, they're just thicker, like two ply with the oil coating in the middle. And I have the Evans G2 Rezo heads. And on the snare here is a Kevlar head that is indestructible. I've had it on there for four months and I hit hard as shit. So I love that head. It's got good bounce back. And it sounds nice. It sounds great. The snare is, it's made by Blackwood Custom Drums out of California. It's a stave drum, which means it's not, it's not formed with heat or water. It's wood planks ran verti vertically and glued and lathed. So it's not messed with at all. It's heavy, it's loud, and I love it. I don't want to play another snare drum ever. My buddy Tyler, they had cherry bomb drums and they were, they supplied the kit for this is hardcore and many other festivals and all this and then they switched to Blackwood just switched the name of the company I guess and uh, we got to talking and he made me a snare it actually had the chrome wrap on it but it fell down a flight of steps and it got all damaged so I pulled the wrap off and re-sanded it and it's better now the toms, I just, just as long as it sounds good and it doesn't ring, I like them a little lower. So I have these, you can't really see them, but it's a company called Sleeve Washers, which is made by Hendrix Drum Company. And they're, they're plastic, but they have like a quarter inch sleeve underneath them, which allows you to tune lower. It doesn't rattle the lug or anything. And it just adds so much more depth and option to the drum and I like that. Then I got this Pearl Eliminator double pedal and this second kick drum is basically just a cymbal stand. <laughs> I don't even use it but when this head gets thrashed I'll just switch the kick drums. It's a it's a normal thing to do that anymore. I got 14 inch Zildjian A Custom Hi-Hats, uh, Sabian Double AX Explosion Crash uh, 20 inch, and a TRX Energy Crash 20 inch, TRX 22 inch Energy Ride, and a Peisty 20 inch China. And my sticks are Promark Fire Grain 2B with a wrap on them. The fire grain's cool, it's like temp tempered, so it adds durability to the stick, which is nice considering they're very expensive. I got my drum gloves so I don't drop my sticks, and my wristbands to wipe the sweat off my face. It's all Tama hardware, except for the pedals and hi-hat, but it's mainly just Tama Road Pro boom stands, and uh, I I just got that Yamaha hi-hat stand for dirt cheap, so in the, the Tama drum throne, that's pretty much it. Thanks again, I'm Ryan from Ringworm, check us out on Facebook.